testing one million, two million. <laughs> Everybody uh, was started talking about him, and who the hell is Warren Buffett? The Oracle of Omaha. You do not have to uh, cheat to make money. He's the man who gave thirty-seven billion dollars to charity. There we go. I enjoy the idea of building an endowment fund up for society. Here we have our uh, ten cent Coke machine. Which, Warren uh, Buffett is the genius behind Berkshire Hathaway. I'm Warren Buffett, chairman of Berkshire Hathaway. The stock of the Berkshire Hathaway company closed yesterday at one hundred thousand dollars for each share. Warren Buffett is probably the greatest investor we've ever seen. My dad, he said, Warren's like someone that can see in the dark. He started with ten thousand dollars in 1950, and now he's worth uh, forty billion. Warren Buffett. The Oracle of Omaha, investor extraordinaire, has devoted his life to making money. Okay, we just do it a couple times. Oh, okay, any suggestions as to change of him? And he has made a lot of it, more than $40 billion. Enough money to buy 880,000 Hummers, one for everybody in San Francisco. And he's come by his money the honest way. Six ninety five for a sandwich that costs 75 cents to make. That's the kind of business I want to be in. He's not involved with kind of phony deals, and his rep Warren's reputation is very good. If Buffett is the big fish, a lot of smaller fish in his wake have become very rich, too. To say how many millionaires he's created now would be hard to say. He would know, um, but it would be in the thousands, for sure. Boy, if, if he doesn't give capitalism a good name, who does? Warren Buffett is the ultimate American success story. I benefited incredibly from being in this country. I mean, when I was born in 1930, the odds were 50 to 1 against me even being born in the United States. And I was lucky enough to be born here. I was lucky enough to be born with a, a talent capital allocation that's worth a whole lot of money in this economy, but it wouldn't be worth much in Bangladesh, and it wouldn't have been, been worth much 300 years ago. Like a Horatio Alger hero, Warren Buffett accumulated his huge fortune by relying on honesty thrift and a can-do attitude. Add self-deprecating humor and you have the world's second richest man. It was a charity event, uh, so I uh, played Daddy Warbucks for a short period of time. And Ms. Flanagan, the, who ran the orphanage, kept calling me Warbucks, but I explained to her that was Bill Gates. Bill Gates, the chairman of Microsoft, and Buffett's good friend, is a few decades younger and a few billion dollars richer. The Microsoft mogul has amassed more wealth than any other man in the world. But on June 26, 2006, 75-year-old Buffett gave away more money than anybody ever before. $37 billion. And it was big news. Now to the giant gift. Good evening. It is simply a staggering amount of but money. But we begin with today's big money announcement from the man known as the $31 billion donation. Today I've got a few letters. And uh, first three letters are easy to sign. I just signed Dad. The other ones are... <laughs> In a ceremony at the New York Public Library, he gave away two-thirds of his vast fortune to five charities. That's my daughter, Susie. That letter starts out, Dear Suze. I wanted to make sure I didn't ever write one that says, Dear Anna Nicole Smith, so I'm doing this at an age where I still... <laughs> Three billion to the Susan Thompson Buffett Foundation, named after his late wife, and a billion each to the charities of his three children. My son Howard is here. I'm not kissing. <laughs> and my son Peter. <laughs> but the lion's share of Buffett's great giveaway went to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Kind of like the $64 question we build up to the big... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Buffett's donation doubled the foundation's endowment. Don't lose that letter. We're talking about $31 billion at today's prices. These are just staggering numbers, world-changing numbers. If you go back in history and compare what Warren has given to what the great philanthropists of the, the century have given... Andrew Carnegie and John D. Rockefeller, this amount dwarfs what they gave. In the history of the world, I don't think we've ever seen a gift like this. Everybody was, was surprised when he gave away the majority of his fortune.
And that's because Warren Buffett is known for making money, not giving it away. His own children know that better than anybody. What he did, as soon as he started giving us an allowance, he put the slot machine up in the attic, and we'd go up there, and he'd, he'd win every penny back of the allowance through the <laughs> slot machine. I could never, in, in 10 years, I couldn't get three of those melons to line up. He's a bit of a tightwad, as he would also tell you. And so what to do with it has always been very difficult. Giving his money away was a problem he had left to his wife, Susan Thompson Buffett. Susie, who was going to manage that, they had it all planned. He was going to die first, and then she would do it. And she was wonderful at that sort of thing, and her heart was in it from the day I met her. But that didn't, it didn't go that way. She died in 2004. The onus was on Warren to think about, well, it's not going to be Susie that's going to be handling the money. It's going to be me, so what am I going to do? Only one thing was certain. The money was going back to society and not to the Buffett children. From the start, he and his wife Susie, um, they started with the kids and, and prepared them from the beginning that they were not going to inherit great wealth, that that wasn't the way it was going to work in their family. I think that a rich person should leave their children enough so they can do anything but not enough so they can do nothing. It isn't in keeping with my view of how the world should operate to create uh, huge amounts of dynastic wealth. Warren Buffett wanted his fortune to benefit society, but in philanthropy, as in business, he wants value for his dollar. He thought that he wouldn't be very good at uh, micromanaging the giving away of the money. Well, I'm, I, I've got some people where I'm saying you can give it away better than I can, so I'm turning it over to you and, 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 and you do a better job of giving it away than I can. There we go. <laughs> Bill Gates is a determined philanthropist. It's almost scary. Uh, you know, if I make a mistake with my own money, it just doesn't feel the same as to make a mistake with Warren's money. They are more likely probably to do more things to change the world, to cure diseases, to help people get an education than the federal government of the United States. In philanthropy, you're really tackling the problems that have defied intellect, important problems that people of intellect, people with money have tackled and thought about in the past. and and have had a tough time coming up with solutions. Most people would insist on having their own name on the money. He wasn't looking to memorialize himself. He was looking to do good with his dough. It's a very selfless act because he's thinking about, uh, he's not thinking about whose name is going to be on the dollars. He's thinking about what the dollars are going to do. Warren Buffett is a tycoon, but a modest one. He enjoys his money, but what he likes much more than having money is the fun of making it. More and more and more of it.